So I did this Reddit post a month ago when it happened. She posted in the Am I the A-hole subreddit saying, Am I the A-hole for telling my husband's affair babies family to come get the kid or I'm calling CPS? All right, so I'll just do a recap of this. Her soon-to-be ex-husband, Roger, who, he, who she forgave for this affair, came home with a baby four months ago. His girlfriend bounced and probably went to Spain. She says, I allowed him to stay so long as I didn't have to do anything, anything. Well, about a month ago, Roger had a heart attack. It didn't kill him. Um, <laughs> she said, basically, she is done helping. She's over it. Towards the bottom, she says, I want a divorce. I contacted Roger's parents. Come get this kid. So that is what happened a month ago. This is the update, short and sweet. The update for telling my husband's affair baby's family to either come get the kid or I'm calling CPS. She says, I'm no longer divorcing Roger. There were complications from his heart attack and he has passed away. I am conflicted. He was the love of my life, but also a cheating piece of trash. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, the mother will not return from Europe. The child is currently with her parents. They asked me what I wanted to do. I recommended adoption. Not that I adopt the child, but that they put the child up for adoption. They didn't like that suggestion. Neither did my children. They said, I'm being cold and cruel. I suggested that since the child was related to them and not to me, that they step up. Neither has accepted that suggestion either. I was the sole beneficiary of Roger's estate, so I imagine lawyers will be involved in getting the child some sort of support. I will pay whatever is ordered by the court out of the estate. I will not pay one cent out of my money. And that's all I have to say on that matter. So the grandparents and her children want her to adopt this kid. They are not saying that they want to adopt this kid. It is very easy to volunteer someone else's time, energy, and resources. And why would this woman, who is 53, 53, want to adopt a child? She has done her labor. She has put in the work. Her kids are grown. Why would she adopt a child that she had no consent in creating? Some people are way too wild or entitled or willy-nilly with volunteering other people's time, energy, and resources to do things that they simply wouldn't do themselves. It is so wild that they are thinking she's cold and cruel, but they're not stepping up to the plate. Um, all right, let's do some of the comments. Okay, so this person says, get a paternity test before you allow your husband's estate to be taken. Mama Kim says this and also the kid can get social security benefits from the deceased dad to help raise him or her. Book Dragon Hoarder says unless there's some weird loophole where probate feels the AB is entitled to the estate, it also opens the older children to a share too. All AB is entitled to is social security benefits. Um, grand oh, a fair baby. That's what AB is. AB. Okay, got it. Grandparents need to be filing abandonment with the state against their daughter or demanding she comes back. The baby isn't the OP's responsibility. Husk Ia says, in some states, a minor child is entitled to up to half of the estate. Technically, an adult child is entitled to nothing because the spouse trumps adult child in inheritance rights. This is why wills are important because if a parent with an adult child remarried and died without a will, their spouse gets everything and their adult kids get nothing. But the state recognizes that the parent should have continued providing for their minor child and therefore is entitled to a portion of the estate, even over the spouse. Usually it's not a problem because the spouse is the one raising the child and that inheritance is meant to be used for raising the kid. In this case, the spouse isn't the minor's parent, so it goes to whoever takes custody of the child for the child's care. And in some states, a minor child can't be written out of a will. OP should be getting an estate lawyer and figuring out how this works in her state and filing for probate. If her husband died interstate, no will, OP will have to figure out how to extricate from her husband's finances properly and most importantly, legally. And then they got to figure out how the estate will be split. This just goes back to 
cheating sucks. Cheating involves more than, you know, just a simple little oops. It can definitely jack somebody up financially, physically, mentally. It can really ruin things. And that is what this man's affair did. It was completely selfish. And then he had the nerve to die. Yeah, he's just selfish all around. All right, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. This is another example with why you do not mess with men with kids. If kids are a deal breaker and you are not prepared to be second mommy, regardless of what they say, do not mess with men with kids. Let them live in their consequences. They need to be parenting their own children. Just leave them alone. She says, am I the a-hole for not helping my husband with his children more? She says, when my husband, a 35-year-old man, and I, 30-year-old woman, met, he insisted that he was not looking for a mother for his children. He said his kids have two parents, and he'd only want someone who could be a positive role model to his kids, who would treat them well. I never wanted children of my own, but I like children, so I agreed. That was her problem right there. If you don't want children of your own, not mess with a man with children. All right. She says, we dated, got married, and I let him move into my home I own outright. We have been married for the last two years. My ex-husband's wife has had two additional children since we got together, and she hasn't really been a great mother to their shared children. My husband and his ex-wife have three children together. You see, she made prop, um, mistake number two. She let this man move in with her. She is making mistakes in this. We're only two paragraphs in. She says, I work a lot and in my spare time, I like to go to the gym or hang out with my friends. My husband has been complaining lately that I don't watch his kids for him often enough so how so he can have some free time too. This is his kids. This is why does he no? This is the reason why men have too much energy because they're not parenting their kids. Um she, he says, I'm sorry, his ex-wife has given him almost full custody because she's too busy with her new babies. He also wants me to start cooking for the kids. And I'm just, I'm not just myself. I'm sorry. He also wants me to start cooking for the kids and not just myself and during their laundry, driving them to school, etc. This is all coming out of left field for me. I'm not allowed to discipline the kids at all. And he made it clear when we got together that I was not to be a mother figure in any way. I already let them live in my house for free, saving my husband roughly 24K a year that he was paying in rent before. So not only does he want me to provide financially, but also do the sucky parts of parenting with no reward. We have a strong prenup and I'm on honestly considering using that. You're only two years into this marriage. There is no upside to this man. There is no upside to dating a divorced man with three children. <laughs> there is no upside as a woman, because as a woman, they're going to ask you to do these things. It's going to creep in. Can you take the kids to practice? Can you pick this up for the kids? Can you pick up some pizza? Can you order the pizza? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you grab some scissors for this project? Actually, can you help them do the project? Is going to be a creep um, where your boundaries are going to consistently be trampled over, basically. Do not date a divorced man with kids. Let them parent those kids just like, just like women would have to. He has too much energy because, and he doesn't even deserve free time at this particular point. He, he really doesn't. The other mom doesn't give free time, I'm sure. He needs to be parenting. He did not, he said, you are not going to be a mother figure just a positive role model. <laughs> Absolutely not. Let's see what some of the comments say. All right. So this person says, well, if he's saving money by living with you, he could hire a babysitter to help him. And the OP says he probably could if he was better with his finances. He doesn't make a lot of money and he's kind of bad with the money that he does have. It's not his best quality. So let's reiterate. He's a divorced dad with three people. He had to move in with her she's saving him money and he still can't use that to help him what is she getting out of this relationship what does she get okay okay so this person says what were the good qualities he brought to the relationship are any of those still present in him or has he completely turned into a whining mooch chucky lowe says he's the fun dad so he was probably the fun boyfriend dates road trips gifts 
even tasks like cooking, they were probably cooking fun and romantic meals together. They get married and she gets real. He'd always send his um, kids back to the wife with dirty clothes, <clears throat> but I'd have to go to the laundromat. Example now, B word, you have a house and appliances. You do it. He always took the kids for pizza and McDonald's. Now X comments, you have a kitchen. He doesn't want to buy toothpaste and toilet paper. He doesn't want to make the peanut butter sandwiches. He wants to be fun. Color me shocked he has an ex-wife. And this person says, God, I hate that personality type, the chill and relaxed person who is so chill and cool because they somehow manage to offshore the bulk of adult stressors onto other people. And this is what he's attempting to do. He is failing and flailing in his parenting and he needs somebody to rescue him. These are the most logical leaders. Leave these divorced dad with kids alone. Let them learn how to hold their own nuts. Jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. So I was tagged in this Am I the A-hole post from a woman. And y'all know what I say about women posting an Am I the A-hole threads. They're simply looking for validation. This is a short post. She says, Am I the A-hole for slapping a teenager? I don't know. Let's see. She says, I, a 32-year-old woman, was at a water park this weekend with my husband, who's also 32, and my daughter. We were in one of those pools practicing swimming and we keep and keeping to ourselves. There was a group of teen boys there. And while I was working with my daughter on swimming, one of them came up behind me and I felt a tug on the strings of my top, untying it. I spun around and saw this 15 to 17-year-old with a smirk and slapped him. This quickly caused a scene. The park staff got involved as well as the boy's parents who were livid at me. My husband and another lady saw it happen and confirmed that he really did grab my top. There was also a camera around the pool that kind of show, kind of show it, but it wasn't the best angle. The boy's parents threatened assault charges and threatened, and I threatened SA charges if they decided to go that way. Eventually, we were both, at, both asked to leave and haven't heard anything since. My husband, listen to this part. My husband, though, still thinks I overreacted a bit, which I don't. Am I the a-hole? My, my husband, my husband, though, still thinks I overreacted to a teenager untying my bikini. <laughs> the husband thinks that. So, where is this whole protection and provision that people go on, on and on and on? He should have been the one that saw that this boy was essaying his wife and swooped in to handle it. That was his job, Lord Jesus. <laughs> and then for him to basically try to make things better for the teenager, this is one of the reasons why patriarchy in this Rape culture will never die out because the males stay on code. This man is married to her and is staying on code versus understanding and empathizing with how his wife was just violated in front of him. Couldn't be me. This one couldn't be me at all because this husband is a problem here. The husband and the teenager, the teenager is going to be a bigger problem soon if nobody holds him accountable for his behavior right now when he could change things possibly if he's made to face some consequences. But if he's allowed to get away with this kind of thing around his parents and around witnesses, imagine what he's going to be like in college, at work. He's going to be a monster. So not the a-hole. And Own Al says, not the a-hole, that's a natural reaction. I'd probably do the same by natural reflex. Some spite says, I'm mad that her husband thought she was overreacting. Disgusting parent as well. Kitty Kitty says, right, my boyfriend would have at least scared the living sh out of them. Um, this person says, your adult boyfriend won't scare kids at all. Not these days. Every kid is acutely aware that if a man lays a finger on him, he goes to jail. Assault on a child is an ugly thing to have on your record, but I guess allowing these people to escalate and continue to SA people is a better approach. I don't know, but I do not think that a normal thinking man, a normal thinking man probably wouldn't let a teenager assault their significant other. 
All right, so this um, Mona's adventure says, I've had people grab me in public and once at work when I was an intern. In all cases, the message never reached my brain. It was straight spinal cord reflex to whack them away and spin around and follow up if necessary because it, you're trying to protect yourself. Um, I'm not going to do this comment down by competition descent, but she basically says that um, she was at a fair walking around. All of a sudden, someone's arm came around her shoulder and accidentally touched her boob. She said her first thought was to try to pin it and break the person's arm. But then she figured out that it was her mom. But the whole point is that some people's first reaction is to protect themselves. That's what people do. And that's what we really should be doing is continuing to try to sell. I mean, teach self-defense. Keep it in your brain. You have to practice those self-defense skills and basically keep yourself protected and teach this to your, your girls. Keep Teach this to your girls. Make it a secondary, secondary nature, just like, bam, no, you're not going to get away with touching me. All right, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what you think of this one. Do you think that she is an a-hole for slapping the teenager? The answer across the board should be no. So a screenshot and this post was cross-posted in my Bourbon Bougie subreddit and Creepy Night retitled it, Community Peen Wants to Settle Down to Keep a Woman. And she says, this is find out season. Now let's get to what he said about this. one. This is originally posted in the seduction subreddit. We now have eyes in the seduction subreddit and it's going to be kind of amusing because I know that people are going to be cross posting these um, posts. He says, constantly getting ghosted after Nookie. This is a field report. <laughs> That's the flair used. He says, so I've reached a point where I'm thinking about settling down. Every single one night stand leaves and it never leads to anything. We might text once in a while, but that's it. A friend of mine who's in a relationship said I struggle to keep women. I laughed it off, but it kind of hurt. The energy always starts great, but after Nookie, it's clearly done. But that is in the name. If it's a one night stand, that means once. <laughs> Is in the name, is in the name of the title. And so what I am trying to figure out is these people that lead and think with their peen, they lead with their peen, they think with their peen. How is that supposed to be a foundation for a relationship? You're only thinking about women as far as an orgasm and not it. That does not lead to a relationship. But this was posted in the seduction group. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, let's look at some of these comments. You guys can parse that out. It's a very short thing. Um, he's just confused that this never leads to anything. NPC1990 says, probably not that good in bed or they aren't looking for more than that. And the thing is, he's not looking anymore for that. He's only leading with his peen, so he's not thinking. But now all of a sudden, it came to his brain. I didn't just go in through all of these women. These type of people are really going to um, be lonely for real, because after that thing ain't thinging no more, it ain't, it ain't thinging no more, what are they going to do? They have no personality outside of getting a nut. Um, the OP says, fair enough. I've had some girls um, really be satisfied multiple times over, but still leave. Maybe you're unlikable. Maybe that was all. Maybe that was the arrangement at the beginning. Who knows? Hextar255 says, don't get angry, but what you think if any girl or boy ready for one night stand, then is he looking for a lifelong partner? Of course not. He or she wants quick sacks. If you want good partner, then don't find them in pub, disco, or parties. Find a person who wants to come on a date, care for you, want to chit chat, and want to go on long drive. Yes, do not find a person in the pub or disco. Find the person that wants to go for a long drive. Um, this person says it's almost impossible to find a woman to settle down with at parties or clubs. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's highly unlikely. It generally occurs when you meet via friends, friend, or some day activities like trekking, social clubs, hobby-wise activities, and whatnot. It's unlikely to find a diamond in a thrift store. And he's obviously not even been looking. All he's been doing is trying to get his peen wet. He hasn't been looking. It's just that 
his friend made him have a thought that wasn't originated from his peen. And now he's like, oh my God, they just leave after a one night stand, which is, is in the, is in the title. NPC says, it happens to everyone. I don't expect a relationship out of a one night stand, to be honest. Those girls aren't who I would date anyway, but that's, they're not this, of course not. This person says, what if OP is looking for a consistent SEX partner? Then he has to build that foundation. So stop trying to like make it a quick thing, but then like an afterthought to create a relationship. Um, all right. This person says, if you ever made a girl, um, a girl have be satisfied multiple times, it ain't the SEX that's making her never call you again. Yes. It might be his personality. Maybe he's not that good looking. I don't know. This person says, most likely they aren't looking for more than that. You should have said that in the first place, instead of saying not good in bed shows your own insecurities with yourself. I think that was a response way up there but we really don't know. This man didn't really create a very long post. Glitter Fairy said, and this was on the Bourbon Bougie subreddit, communal peen will never be able to settle down or get into a long, a real long-term relationship. Every woman will leave them because they aren't even in control of their own body and think with their peen and not their brain. No one wants a man who can't do challenging things like not giving into horniness or impulse it's a sign of a mental health issue much deeper. And Creepy Night, when she posted this post, says it's it's one night stands for a reason, genius. They will always shame women who sleep around, yet hate them for just wanting casual SEX. They actually want us to sacrifice more emotional and physical labor other than sexual. Not surprising, though. And that was her caption. And this is what women are thinking of this. It's like, you you got to pick a lane. You want a relationship or you want it to be just physical. Pick a lane. Women are not going to keep doing the emotional labor that they need and they are not dealing with it well once they figure this out. Anyways, jump into the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. If you made it this far, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you are not yet subscribed, don't forget to like, comment, and share.